hello and welcome to potentially my new home here on the left bank of Kyiv, Ukraine. I've rented out my place long term, so I need a new place to live. I am a little bit tired of living in that tiny crappy Airbnb that I rented, so I'm not going to extend it uh, unless I have to, I guess. But I'm going to try to move into one of these and I'm viewing it in about 20 minutes or so. But we have a little bit of time to check out the neighborhood. So we are on the left bank of Kyiv, which some people wouldn't even consider Kyiv. They would consider this like a suburb or something, but this is uh, all residential housing. As you can see, huge, huge buildings. And Kachka actually lives, I think, in that one. So very, she would be my neighbor. Right across the street is this park. And I remember when I went to her house or her apartment, I was jealous that she had such a nice view. And I thought, you know what, I can move here too. The only problem so far, as you would guess, being in a neighborhood that's first off so desirable with a park, but also with so many people living here, there was no parking. I like circled around the block a few times. I, th I think it's one of those things where as long as I don't get home like super late, there will always be a spot within, you know, a few blocks, but it's almost guaranteed I'm never gonna find a spot like for myself or right in front of my place. So it would make it really hard if you're carrying groceries or if you're just tired and you wanna get home. But luckily, we're only a 10 minute walk from the metro station. So it's another plus plus this place. So here we are, nice, beautiful park. This kind of reminds me of Kharkiv. Just the vibe of people kind of hanging out, walking. It is the summer, so everybody likes to be outside with kids. And I think it's a pretty big park as well. But let's go find out. It looks nice. Families, people hanging out. Leave it to it. At the misty Horoshi line. Horoshi Spokoni. Bez Gopniki. Bez. Okay, thank you. The old Kusiva. Sleep Kusiva. Okay. Yeah, she said it's a really, really quiet, nice area and it's beautiful. She probably lives nearby. And I like it so far. I mean, give me a few minutes to kind of uh, judge it better, but first impressions, I really like it. There's a guy there playing a trumpet. People on their bicycles. This is nice. I like it. She's talking about growing tomatoes. <laughs> Hello. Nice family feeling place. I like it, you can survive here. Oh, there's some youngsters on their skateboards and BMX bikes. They look like nice kids. We got our first jogger as well. And I think from what I can see, the park is pretty big, but I can almost see the end. And it's not that wide either, so. Yeah, perfect size. That's a really nice statue with the mom and the two babies. Overall, like a really, really beautiful place. So I walked in to, uh, let's say water that tree over there, but <laughs> just, Part of this park is also like nature trails. Take a look. Sun's setting there. There's a nice walking path to whatever that main street is. And then, yeah, it's cool. Like, so if you don't want to walk on the main street where all the people are, you can walk through here. And it feels like you're in a forest. It'd be a great place if you had a dog. I guess a cat. <laughs> cat on a leash. 
you guys are probably all wanting to know what apartment I'm gonna be looking at and also why I decided to move here or even move at all. So if you didn't watch my previous videos, yeah, yes, my apartment in Kiev is still okay, but it's being rented out. And the tenant is a really good tenant. She's a diplomat. She pays a very good rent. And honestly, I looked around. I'm not overcharging or anything because I looked to see how much it would be to rent another similar place in a similar location, like right in the city center, anywhere near Hershadik or Vedan, Chateau Ristovelli, Bassania, kind of where I live. And every, everywhere was like 1500 to, to almost $3,000. Like even though it's Kiev, even though it's Ukraine during war, we forget this is the capital city. So it's the same price as renting in New York or San Francisco or Vienna or London, Paris. And maybe a little bit cheaper, but it's still expensive. I was looking for one of these. But this, this one looks so ghetto. Look at this. Is this like an arm pad that's glued on? I mean, at least there's a pull-up bar. Seems stable. Not anywhere as good as the one near my neighborhood, though. Or well, in my courtyard. But ah, this will do. Anyways, let me walk to the actual building because I'm supposed to be meeting the agent soon. But it's uh, just over there. So as far as the price on the right bank or like the city center, everything is pretty expensive, especially if I want to have something bigger than a studio. And if I want to be within walking distance, within 10 minutes or so of a metro station. So it's kind of forced me onto the left bank. Uh, because I work from home, I like to chill. I kind of wanted like a little bit more space. I don't want to be in like a tiny, tiny apartment. And the bad thing about a lot of the studio apartments, or even some of the one bedrooms in Ukraine, they don't have beds. They give you just a sofa bed, which is so strange and foreign to me. It's, it's supposed to be really normal here. People keep it unfolded you know, daily. They don't fold it up every day. But whenever they have guests over, they put it away. That way they have a place to entertain. Way to save money. So I get it, but I need to sleep on a real bed, guys. Oh, this is cool. You can pop water and it's free. I guess it's clean. Is that a dog? It's a cat. Oh, Kishka. <laughs> I don't know how to do it. Failed trying to help him, but anyways, uh, so I felt it would be silly if I spent the same amount that I'm getting just to live somewhere else because I might as well just somewhere, somewhere uh, I might as well just then ask her to move out and then move back in. So I thought the only way this makes sense is if I rent a place that's much much cheaper and then kind of pocket the rest for travel or for savings. So I decided to rent a Soviet style, but slightly nicer, slightly bigger apartment for about 400 bucks a month. And there's a ton of options. Uh, so today we're gonna be looking at this one, which so far is my favorite. But it's also the first I've seen, so let's go. I should probably move. She's got the saw and a hammer, and she's uh, watering the garden. This looks like a nice area. I'm not sure if this is the entrance or not, because it's always hard to find uh, one of the four entrances of these giant buildings. But I guess we'll find out. I messaged them. <laughs> Alex, our agent. This is the choice. Not bad so far, right? Check. There's a light in the hallway, which is better than mine already. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> 
And let's take a look. Uh, I'll take off. Yeah, yeah. Ah, Nichibu, Nichibu, Nichibu. Okay. So let's take a look first. This will be the first one we see, which is a sofa, a desk, a broken clock. And let's check this uh, balcony. It's too small for like a desk, but it's perfect for drying clothes. And the face of the back, so actually should be pretty close, uh, pretty quiet. This is perfect wardrobe for clothes. This is the kitchen. Just a nice little sitting area. Full size fridge. This feels a bit small, but at least it has a cabinet. A uh, oven. And another small balcony. They call it like balcon chick. I guess it's a little bit loud if you open it, but it should be okay. Here's the bathroom. Well, here's the toilet. And here's the bathroom. It's a lot tighter than I expected, but it'll do. There's... I wonder if this could be pushed. pushed a bit and then here's the entrance so you can put some clothes here some uh, jackets here shoes which is nice and then here is oh there is a bedroom I kind of didn't realize that I don't know why but here is your proper closet here's a table and this is weird but maybe we can get rid of one of these move it somewhere else and here's your outside area you have AC this is a big bed stove uh Saturday stove what is this uh stove which way not? It's very big, so I think it's 180 stove washroom. It's like a king size bed. And okay, it's pretty comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> if it includes the girl, yes. <laughs> okay, so let me think. This would be perfect. Uh, I would move that. I'm just always, I always like to take a look. See what I'm dealing with. Mattress is okay. This is just this board. Yeah, it looks, seems okay. Lights. Uh, okay. Only weird things, I don't have a living room really. I guess this can be it. I'll put that little chair in here. Put a TV here with my desk. Come look here. Well, the only thing is there's no AC in this room, only in the bedroom, which isn't and that's necessary because it's never about hot at night, only during the day. Oh, oh. okay. Emotion. Show emotion. I can eat here. This is big enough to um, work in. Okay. Let's do it, Dubai. Most of the contract is huge. 
Okay, so I told him I like it. I'll take it. Good job. Nice to meet you. Sure. Sure. Uh, so Okay. Jaguar. I'm fast, guys. Don't call me the minute man for nothing, but I went in, checked all the boxes. Price is fair. Location is good. So I told him I'll take it. And Johnny will take this this uh, new apartment, but uh, now we gotta contact the other agent. I don't know why why the one I messaged didn't uh, show up. In Ukraine, it's very, very complicated. You don't need a license to be an agent. So sometimes realtors will just like post uh, places and then they'll like split it with another, they'll just like call the actual agent and then have to split the commissions with them. Commission's always 50% of the first month's rent which is a lot. I know in the US, sometimes it's even more. It could be like uh, one month of the first month's rent, which is crazy, especially, you know, if you're paying two grand or three grand a month for rent. But here, it's 400 bucks. I give them $200 finder fee. I'm okay with that. Although, trust me, I did try to do it on Facebook on LX first. I just had such a hard time finding anything even decent that I decided, let me just, Use realtor.net or .com, whatever it's called. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna walk to the Metro to see how long of a walk it'll be. It's 7.24 now. Supposedly it's only 10 minutes, but let's see how long it actually takes and how nice or unnice this walk is. It looks like I could take a shortcut through this, but that looks abandoned. So let's walk this way, which I think most people are walking. And here's officially the start of the park. It looks like it had a uh, World War II uh, monuments that they've taken down. But yeah, I'm far enough from this highway where I don't think I'll hear it too badly. But I think if I opened the windows, I would still hear it a little bit, unfortunately. I mean, one good benefit is I am very close to the highway so i can get to the center very easily if i did want to drive but with that you know comes some annoyances as well obviously i would never want to walk across this this even though i'm sure people do and i can tell you right now everybody's walking from the metro you can just tell by the way that they're dressed that they came from the work who came from the city center welcome to the left bank this is where people actually live The city center is very, very nice, but it's for like business people, tourists, I guess before the war. Uh, and, you know, people to go, you know, for a drink or for like a nice meal out. But that's not like how locals actually live. You know, it's expensive. It's hard to get to for most people or, you know, they have to like travel there. So most people don't actually live in the center. So if I want to experience real Ukrainian life, this is where to do it. Supposedly the metro is that street. But I have a feeling people are walking this way. I guess I could also walk through this nice park. What do you think I should do? Let's check out this park. I have a feeling this is a shortcut. Yeah, this looks like uh, the metro would be the M <laughs> for McDonald's, but normally there's a McDonald's next to the metro, I mean. <laughs> And there's a couple of restaurants over here, which is nice. A couple of sitting places for people to hang out. Looks like there's a shawarma place. A little love thing. There's a mini Ashan, which is a supermarket. It should be really convenient, actually. Yeah, and I would bet money the metro is right there. Go. So this is the McDonald's. So a little kid. And I like all these shops that are always next to these stations. They look like all these are closed for some reason, but maybe it's just the time. Oh, here we go. Metro Darnitsa. Perfect. I knew it. And let's check this clock. Uh, what was that? I almost got knocked over by this little girl. 
So whatever it was, it was very short. Uh, I even stopped a bunch and I like was answering messages. And I think even then, for sure, it was less than 10 minutes. So uh, very, very close station. It's probably like a five to seven minute walk. But mo most importantly, it was a nice walk. I get to come to a park. I go to the shops. This is something that I would enjoy doing on my commute in and out of the city. The only downside though of the left bank metro is it closes during air alarms because they can't cross the bridge over the bridge. So you might get stuck on the right bank if you come back too close to curfew. And you know this is uh, not the richest area because there's a pawn shop right there. <sighs> but this is a, uh, you know, where people really live. It's not a, I don't think it's like a bad neighborhood, but it's like a, you know, it's a, it's a sleeping district. That, that, that's what they call it. Lots of big buildings. Uh, but with that comes, you know, comes all this nice stuff. And it would suck to get stuck on the center, on the right bank, and not be able to come back. But, you know, at least I'm in a better position than most people where I can, if I really wanted to, even though I would hate it, I can afford to take an overpriced taxi because, you know, prices are going to go up when the metro's not working. Uh, you know, I can find a friend to stay over or, well, you know, I guess I can go back to my old apartment and just be like, hey, I'm here. Can I, can I crash in the guest room? <laughs> I can't get back <laughs> to my apartment. So I have options, you know, and I know not everyone does, so I'm pretty lucky. But I'll keep you updated. Uh, I've told them already that I want the place, and hopefully in the next day or two, we'll some of the paperwork. Oh look, there's even a nice bulochka, which is a bakery. There's a lot of stuff here. It looks like maybe during the day this is open. I hope so, that'd be great. Um, excuse you, uh, is this, uh, Zavtra, uh, uh, like, uh, is working during the day? Don't show, show about that, Okay. Yeah, cool. It's possible. So they're saying, yeah, uh, during the day, all this is open. Just at night, it closes, I guess. How funny is this? There's even a Lviv croissant. This would be a perfect place to do some work. This is the Marshuka that goes out into the real sleeping districts far away but yeah right here right by my new hopefully apartment i'm gonna have some clothing stores whatever this euro shop is ashan oh crap is that air alarm oh no if uh Kachka's on the metro. She's going to get stuck right now. She's supposed to come meet me here. I, but I don't think it would just stop on the middle of the bridge. So if she's ready on it, hopefully she'll arrive. Well, let's see how people react. Here's the off shot. Let's see if it still works during the air alarm. They close during the air alarm, which would be a shopping annoyance. I know it's for safety, but this has been going on for over two years. They came on Saturday afternoon. Two bombs slamming into this hardware hypermarket in Kharkiv. The Ukrainian president called it an obvious civilian objective. The owner of a neighboring store said it was full at the time of the attack. It was Saturday, lunchtime, and the gardening season. So there were lots of people, many cars with the elderly and children in the parking lot. Russian strikes came for more than 12 hours. Okay, well, I'm almost back to my car, but you can see how bad the parking is because people are doubled up 
This is the only that is going to worry me. This is a great place to live if you don't have a car at all. Because you're so close to the metro. But in my situation, it might be a little bit annoying, to be honest. Uh, I'm a bit worried because there's a cop there. And I'm definitely in an illegal spot. There's absolutely no markings or, like, colors of the curb. But... I think legally, I'm not supposed to be this close to a bus stop. It needs to be something like five or 10 meters away, which is a bit silly to be honest. Like this could be the bus stop <laughs> and it could end right here. But this stop, I don't actually have a ticket or anything. But I think if I did, I would have got a push notification, which is nice. Yeah, I'm good. The other good thing is Kachka lives just up the block. It's a seven minute walk, just at the other end of the park where the circle is. But I'm gonna drive two minutes north and park, maybe closer to her, hopefully, we'll see. It worries me a bit. Oh, there's, there's one spot, okay. I will say, I don't see any parking spots. And you can't be within like 10 or 15 meters of a curb or a, uh, a crossing either. I think that's right now. You can't see, it's a bit dark too. Oh. No, it's, it's not the Kachka. Ah, there she is. Kachka! Oh. Been a long time. Been too long. Oh, we were gonna be, we pretend to be neighbors. They all look the same. So one, two, yes. three, four, five over. I think it's me. How would you feel if I'm your neighbor? <laughs> it would be great. <laughs> you can borrow some sugar if you need. <laughs> Watch out. <laughs> why? Why do we want to McDonald's? I know. It's freaking curfew. And because I'm sport, you Uh huh. <laughs> I'm going to the gym tomorrow and I will have two trains. So. Oh, oh. Okay, well, it's my treat, so get to whatever you want. I want a big tasty. Okay. No, that's okay. Everything's good. Show no money. Say no mana, say no mana, you. Guys, I'm so excited. This is Kachka's, what is it? Double cheeseburger. And then I got my big and tasty. This is the best. Oh. And hot cocoa. <laughs> Cheers to us meeting again after so long at my new apartment, hopefully. Yeah. What? Mm, guys, I just got home. And uh, I think I'm going to ask Kachka to be my girlfriend. But only because the real estate agent said the owner doesn't want to rent me if I'm just me because I'm a foreigner and I can't communicate. But if I have a Ukrainian girlfriend, she'll rent it to me. <laughs> so, now makes me second guess if I really want to rent this place or not. I think I'm gonna hold off for a few days and see if I can find a, a different apartment, or maybe a better one. If not, Kachka, you're gonna do, do me a favor. <laughs> At least pretend to, pretend to love me. <laughs>